All right, what we're going to be looking at here is how to change a cell inside of uh, Power Query. So how we're going to do that is we're going to create a conditional column here, and we're going to use a helper query as well. So to begin, what I'm going to do is I've already gone up here and I've changed this to date so that we can have these as just a date. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to create a query in here. So we're going to go new query, author source. And we're going to create a table. And so how we're going to do that is we're going to come in here. And I'm sure there's a better way to do this, but I'm just going to delete all this. And I'm going to type in, we're going to create a, a new table. So um, what we want to do is we want to be able to, uh, well, first, so the, the original table has a date on the left in the first column and then a number inside the second column. And so we can relatively assume that the number that we're, we're interested in is the second one. That's the one we're going to want to keep consistent every time. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create a new table and we're going to call it, uh, go hashtag table. And this is going to be the name of the first column. And this is going to be the name of the second column. All right. And down here, and keep in mind that we're doing these inside of the little squiggly brackets. Um, we're going to put uh, the first thing we're going to do here, and we put two squigglies right there on the left. And then we're going to put uh, the, the value of, the, of what we want in row one, column one, and then what after that, it's going to go from left to right. So in the first cell on the first line, we're going to want 1, 1, 20, 20, and then 1, close that, only one of them, comma, and we're going to do the same thing. Close off both of them. And then we're going to be closing off the table at that point. So that should, let's, see, let's get rid of this right here. So let's go ahead and give that. Okay, and so we have this right here. Let's see, there's an error here. Oh, I didn't put uh, two. There we go. All right, so now we've got the first two lines here, and we specified what uh, values we want in there. So we're going to change this to date. You can see when I did that, the advanced editor put the let and the end back in there, so we're good to go there. All right, so now we have the helper. I'm just going to go ahead and change this to helper, and then we're going to come over here. And so what we're going to want to do now is we're going to want to merge this in so we're going to want to choose the two that are the same in this situation it's column one is going to be the date we're going to use left outer okay so it brings up this then we're going to click on this little guy up here and we're going to choose number What I do? Okay, I did one one. Twenty twenty. So let's go ahead and change this to two thousand. You can see as I change that, it's going to automatically update this right here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to come up here under the original one. We got our our helper column merged in here. We're going to create a conditional column, and in here we're going to say. If uh, we want to say if the helper dot number is equal to null, then return. Let's just click on this and choose select column. We want it to return the value in column two. If it's not null, we want it to return the value in helper dot number. Here we go. So then we're going to delete these. All 
All right, so now I've updated the first two there. I can come back over here and change this whenever I want. Just edit this. I want to add in a row. So let's say I wanted to. All right, 60 here. Let's say I wanted to change this just to, to three. I wanted it to be three every time. I could come into here and just add another one. That's going to have to, it would have to match up. The first one would have to match up with the first column on that table because remember we're matching using the date column to match so it's gonna take this column and it's gonna come over here and it's gonna look to see which one matches and then it's going to uh, return that with the corresponding matched one so uh, it's not just gonna return on the first second third so if we were to change this to I don't know nine let's say it's going to edit the ninth one. It's not going to edit the third one. So now our 192000 is 3. So now I'm going to go close. I'm just going to close and load it to a new sheet. So this is our helper right here. And this is going to be our main table. So you can see if I were to come in here and change these around again. This time I'm going to do is a number between 100 and 200. We're going to come over here and refresh this. Uh, all those numbers changed except for one, two, and three, which we're able to keep the same. 